Hello. Today we'll learn how about data tables, two variable data tables. What it means is that we have a list of possible value here. All right, let's just delete this. List of possible quantities. And also, we also arrange. What if I sell at 50 and also per cup at 2 ringgit and 10 cents, right? What would be the revenue then? So, start from two, I sell at two ringgit and ten cents, or and then uh, continuously, right? I change it to two hundred and fifty cents. Right? Will it will it make a little dif difference to my Will it make a difference to my bottom line, right? The sorry the top line which is the revenue right so we we arrange that the value into a column and a row and now we put the results the formula cells in these intersections of the column and the row right and we highlight this and we go to the data tab choose what if analysis data table uh, we've worked with something we are familiar with, right? The columns, input cells, which cell would you want to substitute to? Yeah, you're right, cell C5. And now we we'll look at the row, this row 2, 2.1, 2.2, right? $2.20, right? What is the difference? What would you substitute to, right? Yeah, right, cell C4, right? So we go to cell C4. And that's about it, right? We have the data tables, means highlighted and click OK. There you are, right? If we sell two at 60 quantities, we have a revenue of 120. And if it's just increased by 10 cents, right? We remain at 60 cop, right? You have 126 and 132 for 2.2, right? 120. 2.3 and so on right so um, this is a base model right so we can change this to say uh, per students per students you charge a hundred and a quantity per day is just 10 students right and you can see that um, of course, you have to change this value yourself, right? But you can actually do this, right, by having equal, click on this hundred, right? And here, it will be this value minus, uh, say, 10. Okay, so I repeat, right? We refer to this cell, C4. And then this cell, right, is basically hash 2 minus 10. And so on. So we've got 80, 90, 100. And as for this cell, we have this value plus 10. And drag it down here. All right. So, so 100, 10 quantities, right? If you have uh, a 10 students, this is the right amount, right? But let's say we go to, like, say, 2. And then 4. And then 5. So on. So we sell 80s, but we have 14 students, right? Then we have a revenue of 3,640. If we sell 90, we have uh, a 90 at uh, 10 students, we have 1,900. Or we have 100, uh, so A, we have 1,280. So chances are that if we have a sell at 80, right? Uh, we have a track 40 14 people then a good chance that we have a, a daily revenue of 3640 and this value if you divide by a uh, four by 30 days right or maybe just 20 days a month right you have a whooping of the for 72,800 of revenue so if you know data variables data tables right you can quickly find uh, um, have a goal 
to achieve, right? Which is 72,800. Or 14, or maybe just go for the um, this, right? So it's better still that since we have to do this manually, right? Why not we just do another, right? So in terms of this is monthly, we use this value times 30 or just 20 days. We work 20 days, and now we remain heavy we may still have the same number of figures and here we still have the same figures uh, but uh, we gotta use the equal on the cell here right but we want to insert C8 so we highlight the same and go to data what if analysis data tables the same right column input these are still remain the same as quantity and this uh, remain as the fees so click OK and that's it a student fee right and the quantities is just the number of students so at 14 right if you work at 20 days this work 20 days right that is the kind of figures that we you can estimate so and that is data table thanks for watching